Now, I know I don't have much of a green thumb, but the one thing I can grow in the garden is zucchini. And we have Stephen Freeman from the Manchester Food Co-op with us today for a very uh, tasty summer dish that makes good use of all the zucchini that can grow in a garden. That's right. And uh, the focus on this dish is everything's about to start popping out of the ground in the next few weeks. So a lot of this will be at your farmer's market, other co-ops. The Manchester Co-op plans to open by the end of the year. Yeah. And uh, every time I come on, I try and do about five ingredients or less to encourage people at home to get into cooking healthy food. So what do we have here? We're going to take the zucchini and actually make it into a noodle. A zoodle. <laughs> this is called a zoodle maker. And yep. this is a great dish to play with kids. Have, have the kids help, the spouse right. who doesn't like to cook, the spouse <laughs> who doesn't like vegetables. So you, uh, you just crank this puppy so, okay, up. You hold on to this here and then and uh, it makes oh, noodles. press that in. Yep. And we've got the noodles coming out here. And what's fun about this is it's it's a continuous loop. So when yeah. you're done, I'll, I'll show everyone. It makes noodles like, you know, four feet long. Wow. So this is food you can play with. We want you to play with it. You pick it up off of this. Yep. And, you know, what kid doesn't want to <laughs> play with this? Where do you get one of these, uh, the zoodle makers? Or something? Um, any of the kitchen retailers on, okay. wow, this is... <laughs> this is as long as my hair. It was a pretty big zucchini. <laughs> so this is the this is the the um, zucchini, and you can use yeah. anything you want. I, I slice the uh, the candy stripe beets on the slicing blade, mm -hmm. and the fennel, the shallots, the garlic. I actually use a food processor for that. Okay. So five ingredients: zucchini, fresh tomatoes, uh, fennel, shallots, and garlic. Throw okay. it all in for about eight minutes. Finish it with some tomatoes. Mm -hmm. For the, carnivores, nice in there, yeah. for the carnivores out there, you want more protein with your dinner, make it into more of a dinner meal. Mm -hmm. I pre-cooked the sausage on the grill last night. Okay. Throw it in, and that's it. Um, so anybody who, uh, we're trying to get membership up always, because you all own the store, we own the store together. So anyone who joins today, if we get 10 people to join today, this little puppy goes home with the 10th caller, yeah. a case of zucchini, and Steve to come over to your house <laughs> and cook it all for you and have a party and talk about the co-op and yeah. show you why this is so awesome and yeah. fun to have. I've heard there's a, but wait, there's more as well. Oh, but wait, there's more. <laughs> Caller 10, if you order now, it comes with three blades. One's for slicing, mm -hmm. one's for large noodles, one's for small noodles. Okay. It's all easy, easy to use, assemble, unassemble, and most of all, it's fun. And this is replacing pasta. Right. And this is far more healthier because it's locally out of the ground and it's a vegetable more than it is a grain, gluten, and all those other fun things. Mm -hmm. Manchesterfood.coop is the website and That's you guys are website. also working on getting a brick and mortar building in place for people to come and buy all of these great local Correct. Foods. We have a brick and mortar under contract at the Harvest Market on uh, Route 101 in Bedford. We're in our capital investment campaign, which is a really important step where we're trying to raise, as all co-ops do, we try to self-raise about a million and a half dollars to make the acquisition complete. The store won't happen if we don't raise that money, so it's really important to boost up our membership and get our member loans and capital campaign. All right. Yeah. Stephen Freeman from the Manchester Food Co-op. This smells great, and we've got to check it out during the break. We'll be right back.